Okay, good morning everybody. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I find fonts because I've been noticing that a lot of people are on the different forums and a lot of people are asking for font help, and which is okay. But um, if you're in a bind and you need to find a font and you want to, you know, get it fast, here's a little program. Uh, find my free font. It's this application right here. I think it's about 39 bucks. Uh, Y'all know that I spend a lot of money on software. A lot of printers don't spend a lot of money on software and then they end up, or spend money on software and then you end up, you know, it takes you forever to, to get jobs done. So let's say a customer comes in with this design. This is a design, they probably designed it on Custom Inc. or one of those websites or something. So I'm going to just go in and remake this design. I'm going to click on Find My Font and it gives you a free 30-day uh trial so it opens up and it opens up I'm gonna hit this capture and let me just move this over and I capture this button here I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller hopefully okay so here is oh, there we go capture I'm gonna capture what I want it just captured it here okay so I'm going to select, and I didn't want to select everything. I'm going to erase that, erase that. Okay, that's what I want. I want the F and the U and the N. Okay, so then I'm going to type in here what letters I selected. I selected U, F, N. Okay, so that's going to tell the program over here what I want it to do. So I'm going to search for online fonts and I'm going to search local fonts and I'm just going to hit match font. It's going to show me about the top five or six uh, fonts that are close to what I'm looking at. So here we go. So this font is old press regular. It's a defunct font and it's on defunct.com. Uh, this will tell you, you know, where the fonts are so you can go through them. And you can find one that's similar. Normally the match is going to be up in here. So I'm go I've got this one. I'm going to double click it. And it's actually opening in my browser. My browser is on another page. Um, let's see here. Let me try to make it smaller and bring it over here so you can see it. So it shows me that... This is a DeFont font and where I can get it from and all of that stuff and it'll take you here. You can download from DeFont.com. So I'm going to hit Old Press, type it in, and I'm going to do a search for it. And here's the Old Press font. Now if I want to download this, this font is free for personal use. Okay. So I'm going to, if I wanted to buy it, I could click there and I'm pretty sure you could buy it, but I'm going to click here and if I wanted to download it, I would save it and then once I, let's just go ahead and save it just for the purpose of showing you this video. I'm going to open it and uh, I hate to open it in this application. But I'm going to open it in this application anyways just to show you. So let's just say that I was to open it. Well, let's close that because I don't want to open it there. I actually want to open it. If you were to save this to your desktop, just put it over here on the desktop. I'm going to show you how to not load up your computer with a... I do not want to share that on Facebook not to load up your computer with a bunch of fonts. So save all of your fonts to a font file and then click open. Um, okay, it's not selected here. So I want to install this, but as a shortcut. And if it's not selected, you're going to go here. So you're going to go to the control panel. And when you go to the control panel, Let's see, we've got to find fonts. So I'm going to go into, let's list this small icons fonts. Click right there. And once I click there, let's see, and wait the, on that to open up.
computer is low on performance, so. Okay. Font settings. Okay. Right here, you want to click on allow uh, your computer to install it as a shortcut. And that's what I did there. So then I'm going to click OK. Right. It's going to save all of this. And then I'm going to go out of here. And I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to double click it again. Now you can click use, uh, use shortcut. And then install it. And I need to clean my computer out. So then it, click install. And it installs it as a shortcut instead of installing it on your computer. Then you can go here back in Corel Draw and I'm just going to downsize this real quick. Hit on my font. I don't remember the name of it. Oh, it's Old Press. Okay. I'm going to type in font. There you go. So that's how you find the fonts. And uh, so I'm just going to end up retyping all of this stuff just to create this design over again. But that's basically how you how you find uh, fonts in Corel Draw to, you know, well not fonts in Corel Draw, but fonts using uh, this program over here. Find my font. Anyways, it's free for 30 days. Y'all try it. You'll probably like it. It'll save you a lot of time. All right.